so guys welcome back to Kuruku tv um i'm happy for this migrant about 97 immigrant has been rescued from libya down to italy now 97 immigrant that is evacuation <laughs> free of charge so congratulations to this um set of people how it was organized is what i do not know but i'm going to be giving you details of this in a minute and also show you the video of these migrants who arrived in Italy through the humanitarian corridor that has been going on for some time, probably starting from 2017. That was when uh, some group of people um, said that um, those who are vulnerable, who are found, um, you know, tortured and not uh, living well in Libya, needed to be rescued. So I don't know their modus. Um, operandi how they select these people uh, you know so let me quickly delve in before i play you the video now they say nearly 100 refugees transferred from libyan detention centers to rome right so this happened on the third um no 7th of march 2023 um 24 excuse me for those who are always asking for date so um thank you for that um, important input um, so I'm going to be giving dates anytime I am making videos to put um, this um, in context and also to clarify so you know when it happened and how a humanitarian flight landed in Rome on March 5th. Okay, it landed in Rome on March 5th, carrying 97 refugees, migrants evacuated from Libyan detention centers where they suffered abuse and torture now the transferred migrants who were of african um, palestinian and syrian origin had suffered torture in the libyan detention facilities somewhere in extremely fragile health condition now remember that in libyan prison people don't really live well there they are suffering from a lot of things you know so um this uh, prompted this uh, group of people to be evacuated, you know, for to save lives, okay, for health reasons, probably. Now, the arrival was made possible thanks to the agreement signed last December, okay, um, by a number of different Italian religious, cultural, and political organizations. Remember that um, the Vatican which is the Roman Catholic, which uh, Pope Francis is heading, you know, has always been at the forefront of humanitarian consideration, uh, considerations and all sorts to just show humanity, you know. So Pope, we, I believe, is uh, part of the people who made this possible, uh, thanks to him. Now, they say that um, overall, the agreement stipulates the transfer of some 1,000 500 refugees in need of international protection from Libya to Italy over three years. Over three years. Okay. These migrants will be distributed between facilities of Italy's reception and integration system, SAI. Okay. And associations such as Sant Egido and the Fed Federation of Evangelical Churches. Okay, you can see. So, majority of the people who are funding this uh, move, this transfer of migrants from Libya to Italy through flight, through hum the humanitarian corridor, are made up of religious groups. The transfer will be facilitated in accordance with the humanitarian corridors model, which promotes immediate integration for minors. This means attending school, while for adults, it means Italian language classes and eventual integration into the Italian labor market. So they can work and fend for themselves. You can see here, and you can see here, refugees welcome. Now, a warm welcome at the Rome airport, which you are going to watch briefly now. A number of individuals greeted the refugees at the airport, including UNHCR representative Chiara Cadoletti, Marco Impoiazzo, president of the community of Sant Edigo, the Italian ministries 
Laura Lega, eh, Filippo Miraya, ARCI's National Representative for Migration, and Valentina Seta, Director of the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Inter International Cooperation. So these are the groups of people and the people who were live at Rome to say welcome to this Italian immigrant who just arrived, um, sorry, excuse me, to this uh, African and um, other migrant who just arrived in the land of uh, Italy. Now, let me see. So according to them, now they say, I thank the Italian government for allowing us to sign this uh, protocol, which represents for us an indispensable tool. This is an alternative to death at sea, and there is an alternative to the violence that people suffer in Libya, said Miraya. Today, this alternative is open only for a few, a few people, but we will do everything possible to increase the number of people that they can bring through this window. And the state must take responsibility for the crossings of borders safely and legally because this is the only way to fight human trafficking and the violence that people suffer in Libya, he said. So that is um, his statement and they say um, Ital um, refugees are welcome. Let me quickly take you through the video which I um, I obtained for this uh, for the arrival here. You can see from the UNHCR uh, YouTube channel. That's where I got this. They said first uh, 2024 humanitarian corridor brings 97 refugees to Italy from Libya. All right, that was about six days ago. Remember that they arrived Italy on the I think uh, fifth. 5th of March 2024. Now watch the videos.
all right guys so that is it that's it that's it that's it right there congratulations to this 97 immigrant welcome to italy so drop your comment and share this video hopefully another set of people will be rescued soon thank you